hello and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm at Wiccan Fen in Cambridgeshire. Wiccan Fen is a 250 hectare wetland site here in the Cambridgeshire Fens. It's actually um, pretty much untouched, pristine Fenland. It's part of only one tenth of one percent of the original Fenland, which remains unfarmed. Most of the rest of East Anglia now is fairly intensively um, farmed for arable crops. But this part, which is owned and managed by the National Trust, has been preserved and it's an incredibly important site for wildlife and it's an incredibly beautiful place to visit. If you're ever in this area, we're sort of between Newmarket and Cambridgeshire in East Anglia, at Newmarket and Cambridge in East Anglia at the moment then, do pop in for a visit. There are some great walks here. Um, and behind me, you can see uh, one of the most popular features here on the Fen and that is the old wind pump. So this was used and in fact still is used uh, to drain um, water from either within the fen to outside the fen or vice versa to keep this wetland habitat um, really flourishing. Tonight I've got a couple of compositions in mind. It's a beautifully clear night. There is a 50% moon uh, which actually is why you can probably see me very well. Um, but that's okay in this landscape here because that moonlight just creates this lovely silvery glow over everything, which I love. The first of my compositions is gonna be of the old wind pump here. I'm actually gonna go the other side of it and photograph it with the constellation of Orion, which is behind the video camera here um, up in the sky. And in fact, both of my compositions tonight are going to use Orion in the sky. Now, it's quite a bright sky because of the moon. Um, so I don't know how well some of that lovely red nebulosity will show up in Orion because a lot of that moonlight will sort of wash out uh, those fainter parts. To try to circumvent that, I'll probably take some H-alpha shots as well. H-alpha, um, an H-alpha filter helps to isolate the red nebulosity and moonlight interferes with that much, much less. So I'm gonna try and take some of those shots as well to really get a nice sky. Um, once I've taken the shot of the wind pump, the other composition I have in mind is of these lovely boardwalks that there are around here, uh, with the boardwalk leading off into the distance with reeds either side of it, and Orion in about an hour's time will be right over the top of that boardwalk. So a lovely, lovely, simple scene. We actually saw that the other day when we came here for uh, for a walk. So nice, simple night planned. It's bitterly cold tonight. It's been sub-zero here in the UK now for four or five days. But with that sub-zero temperature are these beautifully clear nights. So I'm certainly not going to complain. I'm wrapped up nice and warm. Look a bit like the Michelin Man. Um, it's time to get on with some shooting. trying to get nice and low here I've got the boardwalk as a lead in line to uh, the windmill the wind pump and then Orion is nicely positioned above it rather annoyingly over at the visitor center someone's just turned some lights on no idea why that is there's someone here working late or something so that's going to need probably a little bit of editing out but it's a nice simple composition. Shooting with the Canon 6D, this is the Astro modified one. I've got the 
24 millimeter f1.4 sigma art lens on here so that's a new lens for me you might remember i've been having some problems with my samyang 24 millimeter lens so i finally replaced it and i think i've upgraded it um, just looking at the images on the back of the camera they look nice and sharp which is great um, proof of the pudding will be in the editing later and i am shooting at um, what am I shooting at? Good question. ISO 3200, and this is a six second exposure, which seems pretty well, um, which seems pretty well exposed on the histogram. So, apart from the lights from the visitor center, that's looking quite nice. Thankfully, I managed to do an image earlier before they turn the lights on. So, I think that's gonna have to do for my foreground. Let's get on with the sky shots. Okay, so I'm just doing a test shot. I'm using the modified Canon 6D. The lens is a Sigma 24 millimeter uh, art f1.4, stops down to f4. I'm at ISO 800, and my test shot is at 60 seconds exposure, obviously tracked at that kind of length. Um, I'm just gonna see whether that is okay with the highlights near the horizon there's a bit of light pollution over there um, so i don't want to blow out those highlights and have a really ugly horizon it's okay <coughs> interestingly the rosette nebula um, is showing quite nicely in this which i didn't expect with such a bright moon in the sky there is a gradient across the image which hopefully i can fix in post-production um, but I think one minute exposures will be okay. Might possibly dial it back to ISO 640. Just look at the histogram again. It's kind of okay. Just to... Mm, well, I might do. Rather than dial back the ISO, is dial back the aperture. So let's go... F4 at the moment, which is beautifully sharp, but let's try F5. Give that a go. See where we get to. <clears throat> it's another beautiful night. Really still, really cold. Got a half moon up there with Jupiter, must be two or three degrees to the south of it. Lovely sight. Pleiades nice and high, Hyades, Orion looking fantastic in the southeast. The plough is on its tip, pointing upwards, 
which looks great. We've got Cygnus setting over in the northwest. Lovely night. Right, time to run. 60 seconds. I'm going to run, I think, 20 of those and then do some H alpha shots. Right, it is getting quite cold out here now and I noticed a little bit of dew earlier on the video camera. So um, I'm just going to add a dew strap here onto the main camera lens. I guess really tonight it's a frost strap with a, rather than a dew strap, but I'm not going to make that mistake again where we end up ruining a night's imaging because the camera chews up. All right, that's on. Got a battery pack there. Hopefully that'll keep the worst of the dew away. Okay, that's quite a cool exposure. So while those H alpha shots are going, um, I'm just using the 14 millimeter lens to get right underneath this wind pump. And I've got the lovely constellation of the plough on its end, going up to the left of the wind pump there. And then to the right of the wind pump, I've got the back to front question mark of Leo Major. And I think these are just two great constellations. Um, it's not a particularly fancy composition, but I'm going to use the star glow filter on this to bring out the shape and the colours of those two fantastic constellations. Um, because I want the wind pump nice and sharp as well, I may well have to uh, take a separate exposure for the foreground here. Um, I'm shooting at um, six second exposure, ISO 3200, um, f2.8 on the 14 millimeter. Pretty simple. And it's my expectation that those constellations will shut really nicely. They do with the Starglay filter there. Pretty simple, nothing fancy. I'll probably do five of those and stack them for the sky. Okay, it's time to look at the first H alpha exposures. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I think that's quite nice. It all seems to be pretty much in focus now, which is uh, a bonus. Tracking seems to be pretty good. Okay, I think we'll take a handful of those. And while they're taking, we'll go and grab a cup of tea.
tea ready just then. Um, I've just seen another composition, which I think works quite well with Orion, and it's a little bit of fun. There's this lovely wooden boat, which is now sort of used as a picnic area, really. Quite a fun little picnic table. Um, and you can probably see just the lower half of Orion um, just above it up there. So it's going to be a very simple 24 millimeter composition, landscape orientation again, with Orion and Sirius um, straight above this, uh, this boat. Um, just a nice little bonus composition while I make my cup of tea. So the shot here with uh, the boat with Orion over the top, it looks beautiful actually. Um, shooting the foreground first of all, focused on the boat. Um, I am using the 24 millimeter uh, Samyang this time at F4, 30 second exposure, ISO 800. And I'm also using, in this instance, long exposure noise reduction just for the foreground. And that is looking really rather lovely, illuminated in the moonlight there. What's particularly cool is where the frost is catching, or rather the moonlight is catching on little sort of droplets of frost. That looks really beautiful. Okay, I'm ready to take my sky shot. For this, I'm at F4 again, um, 15 second exposure and ISO 1600. And I'm using a star glow filter to try to make the sky pop a bit more. I also have long exposure noise reduction on, so I could get away here with just one sky shot, which will be very efficient. I think that's pretty nice. I think I'll call that shot done. Okay, so that is a wrap for tonight. Um, I'll go and collect the camera that's taking the H-Alpha images very shortly. Um, it's been a really enjoyable night. Um, hopefully got four or so decent images out of the evening. And I think what I've learned tonight is even though I'm often put off when the moon is out and quite bright. Um, actually, the way it illuminates the foreground with that lovely silvery light and with a bit of care and hard work on the sky, um, I think you can get some pretty decent images. So I'm gonna bear that in mind. Um, we're only weeks away now from Milky Way core season starting here in the UK. So looking forward to some really early mornings to get up to capture the Milky Way core rising in the southeast. Uh, I've got some hopefully good compositions planned for that and some good outings planned for that and I'll be taking you along for the ride. Um, if the images from tonight turn out to be any good, I'll put them on the screen in just a second and if you've made it this far really appreciate it i love putting these videos together and i love it even more when you guys watch and comment on them so thanks very much for that it really is appreciated you taking your time out of your day to watch these and so until next time thanks for watching and see you soon